Pluto, a mesmerizing member of our solar system, remains an enigma despite my Astrum videos attempting to unravel its mysteries. Amidst all I explore, there's always more left unexplored. Viewers often find themselves pondering unanswered questions in the comments. Why does Pluto evade our gaze from Earth, while telescopes like Hubble unveil distant galaxies with ease? And how do New Horizons images of Pluto capture such vivid detail in the supposed darkness of its distant orbit? These queries fuel my curiosity, offering profound glimpses into the cosmos mechanics. So, if you've ever wondered about Pluto, now's the time to delve deeper. Let's embark on a journey to uncover four of your most pressing questions about Pluto. Brace yourself for answers that are not just informative, but also intriguing, distinct, and perhaps even evocative. Let's begin. Why can Hubble discern distant galaxies with clarity, yet struggles with Pluto? Hubble has captured breathtaking views of distant galaxies, showcasing their splendor millions of light years away. However, when it comes to closer objects like Pluto and other trans-Neptunian entities, its clarity falters, leaving us puzzled. How can it excel at capturing distant vistas while struggling with nearby celestial bodies? It seems paradoxical. The explanation, though, is simpler than you might imagine. It's all about the object's angular diameter. Take, for instance, the Andromeda Galaxy, situated approximately two million light-years away. Despite its immense distance, it appears sizably larger from our viewpoint. Through a high-exposure lens, it spans about six times the size of the Sun, or a full moon in our sky. The Andromeda Galaxy's vastness presents a challenge for Hubble. It's too immense to capture in its entirety in a single frame. Thus, the iconic image is a mosaic composed of hundreds of exposures stitched together. Even with this meticulous effort, Hubble couldn't encompass the entire galaxy in one shot. This phenomenon extends to other galaxies as well. While most galaxies aren't as near or as expansive as Andromeda, they still offer intriguing details observable by Hubble. Consider the Pinwheel Galaxy, situated 21 million light-years away. Its size in the sky is illustrated by how it bridges the gap between certain foreground stars in our galaxy. If visible to the naked eye, it would appear slightly smaller than the Moon. Now, let's delve into Pluto's dimensions for clarity. Astronomers employ degrees, arc minutes, and arc seconds to describe celestial sizes. There are 60 arc minutes in a degree and 60 arc seconds in an arc minute. For instance, Andromeda spans about 3 degrees across, while the Moon measures approximately 30 arc minutes in diameter. The Pinwheel Galaxy spans roughly 28 arc minutes. In stark contrast, Pluto is a mere 0.7 arc seconds across at its closest approach to Earth. Such minuscule dimensions render it almost imperceptible in our night sky, making it remarkable that Hubble can discern any details at all. Closer and larger planets, boasting more significant apparent sizes, are comparatively easier for Hubble to resolve. Hence, the 2015 mission of New Horizons to Pluto ignited immense excitement. Without a telescope powerful enough to resolve Pluto's details, Every transmission from New Horizons was revelatory. Let's unravel the mystery of our second question. Why do Pluto and its substantial moon, Charon, orbit around a point in seemingly empty space? While not everyone may be aware of this, those who are might speculate about the presence of something invisible and immensely dense, perhaps a lurking black hole. However, as the New Horizons probe approached Pluto and Charon in 2015, it observed this orbiting phenomenon up close and in detail. Surprisingly, no black hole explanation is required. In reality, scientists anticipated this orbital behavior long before New Horizons' arrival, despite never detecting any object at that point. This is because in space, everything orbits around a barycenter, a point representing the center of mass between two objects. Now let's unravel the third question that many of you have pondered. Why are the images of Pluto captured by New Horizons so bright, despite Pluto's considerable distance from the Sun? Wouldn't Pluto be engulfed in darkness, 
In reality, if you were to gaze at Pluto with your naked eye, it would indeed appear darker than depicted in these images. However, it's not as pitch is black as one might imagine. Interestingly, we don't have to rely on imagination, as twice a day on Earth, during dawn and dusk, the illumination of our sky mirrors the brightness that Pluto experiences at its high noon. Pluto resides, on average, 40 times farther from the Sun than Earth does, receiving only a fraction of sunlight, approximately 1 16th. Direct sunlight on Earth measures about 100,000 lumens per square meter, whereas on Pluto, it would be around 60 lumens, akin to indoor stairway or corridor lighting. Even if this level of illumination posed a challenge for our cameras, we can still capture images of darker objects by employing longer exposure times. Here we are, on the brink of answering the final question, one that resonates deeply with the general public and encapsulates a search for understanding, mingled with a sense of injustice. Why, indeed, is Pluto no longer considered a planet? But before we delve into that, did you know that there was a time when we believed our solar system harbored a hundred planets? It's true. Throughout history, the count of planets in our celestial neighborhood has fluctuated significantly. And no, this wasn't due to planets spontaneously appearing and disappearing, but rather, it stemmed from how they were discovered. Since ancient times, humanity recognized five planets beyond Earth, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, visible to the naked eye. The ancient Greeks even included the Sun and the Moon in their planetary lineup, though this notion didn't gain widespread acceptance. Then, in the late 1700s, the discovery of Uranus shattered the prevailing belief that only five planets existed within our solar system. This revelation sparked a flurry of newfound planetary candidates, including Ceres, Vesta, Pallas, and Juno, all situated in what we now know as the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. So, there you have it. Four questions about Pluto, unraveled. But how many more questions have emerged in the wake of exploring its icy allure? Perhaps as you've delved into the mysteries of Pluto, your curiosity has been ignited in even more directions. Like the mythical Hydra, perhaps this is a puzzle that can never be fully solved by merely severing its heads. It's the journey itself that proves most fulfilling. If watching this video has sparked additional inquiries about Pluto, its movements, characteristics, or our solar system at large, feel free to share them in the comments below. I might consider creating more videos like this one in the future and would love to hear your thoughts. But for now, whatever questions you had about Pluto, I hope you've gained a little more insight. Thanks for tuning in.